friends and welcome back to McMill. My name is Michaela and this is a place where we get to connect with each other through practices of yoga, Pilates, and mindfulness. This is your day 13 of our 30 to 30 January challenge. I can't believe we're almost halfway through this challenge. <laughs> Today's class is a short but sweet 15 minute hip loving flow. Now I do want to talk about this for a moment. When we say that we're targeting our hips, Think about the muscles that we're actually targeting. Your hips are your bony structure, right? So when we're targeting the muscles around your hips, we're talking your psoas muscle, your hip flexors, your quads, your glutes, your low back. So these are the areas of the body that we're gonna get into today and we'll be sort of holding shapes or finding transitions that move our hips in different ways, okay? External rotation, internal rotation, stuff like that. If you wanna follow along to the playlist I've made for this class, it's linked below. You'll just hit play as soon as we hop on the mat together and grab a pillow. It doesn't matter how big or how small it is, um, just grab a pillow. It'll be handy to have for some of the postures we find today. Okay, I'll see you on the mat. Okay, friends. Have your pillow close by somewhere that it is easy to reach as soon as you end up on your back because that's where we're going to start today and feel free to press play on the playlist if you're following along to that okay bring yourself down onto your back and once you get here can you bend your knees ground your feet and heel toe your feet out as wide as the mat and then drop your knees in towards one another. So it's an internal rotation of the hips. And this is gonna create a nice bit of space across your low back. Maybe it feels okay for you to rest your hands on your belly, feeling the connection of your breath flow, the rise and fall of your belly, the opening and closing of your rib cage. Take a big breath in, really expand and big exhale. Good, those deep breaths feel really good, especially at the beginning of our practice. It's almost like a moment where you are just completely here and welcoming yourself in. Let's take one more, inhale and exhale. Okay, and from here, can you open your arms into a cactus shape? Open the knees out, but keep your feet grounded as wide as the mat. Start to take a little windshield wiper of the knees side to side. Good, with feet as wide as the mat, you're just gonna feel into the hips, the front of the hips, and you might feel a little bit of a stretch into your quads as well. Feeling into this range of motion. So trying not to force the knees down. Just observe where your body's at today. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let your legs land back at center and heel toe your feet in line with the hips. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh for a figure four. And then you can either press gently into your right thigh or you might reach through for your left leg and just bring it in a bit closer to your chest. Awesome. Another option if you've taken that reach through is maybe stretching the left leg up towards the ceiling, but just be mindful that your back body stays long and grounded. Inhale. And exhale. And one more breath. Beautiful. Now bring your left foot down if it's not there already, but keep the figure four shape of your legs. Arms open back into a cactus shape. Wiggle your hips just a little bit to the right side first, and then drop your legs over to the left side. So it becomes a figure four spinal twist. And notice where you feel this into the hips, okay? For me, it's more like the front of my right hip and a little bit of the outer edge. Yeah, those muscles surrounding that bony structure. Two breaths, inhale and exhale. One more intentional breath. Good, and find your way back to center. 
right foot comes down and you can wiggle your hips back to center. Bring your knees in towards your chest for a moment and then forehead up towards the knees, rounding the spine, big hug, big squeeze. Lower head and shoulders down, right foot comes down and left ankle crosses over the right thigh. Figure four, stretch for this other side. Maybe that gentle press into your left thigh or maybe that reach through is feeling good today. You might even take a slight tuck of the chin into chest just to make sure there's length in the back of your neck. And if you're in that reach through variation and you want to try a different expression, you might reach that right leg up towards the ceiling. Again, just make sure the low back isn't curling up. Shoulders are not reaching towards the ears. We want to maintain that length in the spine. Send your breath directly into that left glute, the outer edge, the middle of your glute, wherever you feel that deep stretch. Inhale. And exhale. Good, now right foot comes down. Keep the figure four shape of your legs, arms open to a cactus shape. Wiggle your hips a little bit to the left side first, and then we drop the legs over to the right side finding that figure for spinal twist variation. Allow your belly to really expand as you inhale. It's gonna help create more space. And then you soften, sink and melt as you exhale. Sometimes it's really fun to just observe the sensations within your body and your muscles that come with the breath, right? The inhale sometimes makes it a little bit more of a deep edgy stretch. And then the exhale is when we really get to surrender and soften and let go. Use your next breath in to come through center. Left foot comes down, wiggle the hips back to center. Good. Now hold on behind your knees. Take a little rock forward and back along your spine. Slight tuck of the chin into chest. And come on up to a seated position with your legs in a diamond shape. So the bottoms of your feet are touching. Knees open out nice and wide. Inhale to lengthen. Reach through the top of your head. Exhale to hinge from the hips and forward fold, melting down into the legs. Now maybe a little sway side to side with your upper body. Good, feeling into the entire back line of the body as you create openness, external rotation through the hips. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's find our way back to center. Inhale to peel on up, zip the legs up and just sweep them back in behind you, coming to a tabletop position, all fours. Take an inhale and lower the belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, rounding through the spine, tuck your chin into chest. Good, come to a neutral and then tuck your toes, lift your hips up, reach them back, find a downward facing dog just for a moment. Find a little pedal of your heels, feeling this upside down V shape in your body. Breathe in and breathe out. Nice, now listen carefully, stay in your down dog, but try and cross that right ankle somewhat over top of the left, still in that down dog. Yeah, it's like a figure four down dog. Good, now slow shift forward, lower the left knee down, right shin comes down. So we're still keeping that figure four shape of the legs. Untuck your left toes, inhale, drop your belly, lift your tailbone, lift your chin. Exhale, rounding through the spine, tuck the chin into chest. Come back to a neutral spine, tuck the toes, lift the hips up, reach them back. Figure four, down dog, breathe in and breathe out. Plant your right foot back down and then walk the feet out as wide as the mat. Walk the hands back towards your feet. Good, let your upper body sway side to side, feeling space into the hips, the hamstrings, the entire back line of your body. And come back through to center, walk your hands forward, keep your hips high, landing in your downward facing dog. You're just gonna step your feet back in line with your hips. 
Now left ankle lifts and crosses over top of that right thigh. Look at your legs, check them out. It's kind of like a figure four shape. Slow shift forward, right knee gently comes down, left shin comes down. Untuck your right toes, landing in that figure four tabletop. Inhale, lower the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round through the spine, tuck your chin into chest. Good, come back to a neutral tabletop, tuck your toes, lift the hips up, reach them back, keeping that figure four shape of the legs for a moment. And then left foot comes down, gaze forward, step to the top of the mat, forward fold, Uttanasana, upper body drapes heavy over top of the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, create length in the spine, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale to fold and release. Plant your hands and step your left leg all the way back. Bring your left knee down, untuck the toes, and right hand comes inside of the right foot. Now heel toe your right foot to the outer edge of the mat, finding this super juicy low lunge. It's a lizard pose. You can stay right up on your hands, or you can turn your right toes out to the right side, just 45 degrees, and maybe open your chest to the right side of the room. Maybe your hand rests, rests on your right thigh. Shoulders soften, one deep breath. Actually, this is feeling quite nice. Let's do another one. <laughs> Inhale and exhale. So good, now bring your right hand down, heel toe your right foot back in line with your hip, hands frame your front foot, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee up, and then you're just gonna step left foot up to meet the right. Forward fold, Uttanasana, release head and shoulders, neck. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale to fold. Plant your hands and step your right leg all the way back. Bring your right knee down and then heel toe the left foot to the outer edge of the mat, finding that low lunge, that lizard expression. <laughs> Good, so maybe the left toes are just pointing straight forward, hands are grounded. Or maybe you turn the left toes out slightly to 45 degrees. For some of us, having that external rotation of the left hip is just gonna feel a little bit nicer. Okay, it's totally depending on your skeletal structure. And maybe that left hand rests on your left thigh, staying for two intentional breaths. Really softening out through the shoulders. Breathe in, breathe out. Notice how we feel this in two different ways. It's an external rotation of that left hip, but then a deep opening in the front of the right hip into that psoas, into that hip flexor. Ooh. Let's bring it back through the center. Heel to the left foot back in line with your hip. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee up, and then step the right foot up to meet the left. Forward fold, let it go. Good. Press into your fingertips, lift your chest just a tiny bit, and all you're gonna do is step one foot back, drop the knee, then the other, sitting back onto your heels, reach the arms up, inhale, and exhale, arms melt down. Good, now this is where we're gonna need our pillow. Come to take a seat on your pillow. And once you get here, legs out in front. Good, and then lean over to your right hip so that you can bend your left knee and then try to sit back down, equal weight into both sits bones. So having this pillow is quite nice. It should be a bit forgiving for your knee. If it's not and you need another pillow, go ahead, grab one and come back into this shape. Top of the left foot is down. The left knee is pointing somewhat straight forward. If it goes out a bit to the left side, totally okay. Now slowly start to ease your way back. Maybe it's just here on your hands. We're targeting the front of that left hip, hip flexor, psoas, and quad. Maybe you come down onto your forearms. If coming all the way down onto your back is feeling okay for you, you're more than welcome to explore that. But if that left knee really starts to lift up, that's kind of a clue, kind of a way that your body is telling you, maybe you've gone a little too far today. 
We're just gonna hold this one for three purposeful breaths together. Inhale. And exhale. Send your breath directly into that space of your body where you feel this opening, where you feel the stretch the most. And last breath. So good, friends. Please be really gentle with yourself to come on up and out of this. And then lean over to that right hip. Send that left leg forward. Lean over to your left hip. Bend your right knee. So then we can come into the other side. Top of the right foot is grounded, rooted into both sit bones. Start to lean back inch by inch. Maybe it's just here on your hands. And this is perfect. Maybe it's down on your forearms. Maybe it's on your back. Just being mindful. It's going to feel like a pretty edgy stretch, but we don't want there to be any pinching or any sparky or tingly sensation. Two more breaths. And use your next inhale to come all the way back up. Good job. Lean over to your left hip. Right leg comes in front. And then reach the arms up overhead. Big breath in. Exhale to fold. Inhale to peel all the way back up. And thank you for being here today. That is our short and sweet 15 minute hip loving practice. I hope you're feeling nice and, I don't know, released a little bit more of attention drawn to the hip space. If you put your hands on your body, I actually can feel a bit of heat moving through here, which is always a good sign. Okay, enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for hopping on the mat today with me and I will see you tomorrow.